Okay, and now a word on percents. The word percent breaks up into per and cent. The word per means divided by. We've talked about this before. Uh, miles per hour means miles divided by hours. Uh, feet per second is feet divided by second. Per means to divide by. Cent means 100, think. The number of years in a century, there's 100 years in a century, the number of cents in a dollar, there's 100 cents in a dollar. The, the centipede supposedly has 100 legs, it doesn't, but theoretically it has. Anyway, so what we're saying is percent means divided by 100. And in fact, if you want to play around with it a little bit, you could almost see that this symbol and this symbol have some things in common. Oh wait, that's one division symbol. Here's another division symbol. Divided by 100, you can almost see how the one zero floats over, one zero floats down, whatever. Anyway, percent means divided by 100. I'll keep that up. Percent means, means divided by 100. So, for example, what does that mean? That means that 30% means 30 divided by 100. That is 30 over 100, or you can move the decimal place, and you can say, well, let's see, where is the decimal place? The decimal place is there, and when you divide by 10, it moves over one spot to the left. When you divide it by 100, it moves over twice, and so we're talking um, 0.3 is 30%. Um, gets a little bit more tricky when you have like 6.25%, but that just means 6.25 divided by 100. That is 6.25. You move the decimal place over twice, and we get 0 0.0625. And to go the other way, it helps to think that well, 100% is, uh, what is that, 100 divided by 100, hey, 100 divided by 100 is 1. So, hey, I've talked enough this semester about how awesome the number 1 is, 1 is the multiplicative identity, 1 has all these cool properties, well, 100% is just another name for one, which means that if you want to turn something into a percent, you multiply by 100%. Like, what is 0 0.05? 0 0.05 is 0 0.05 times 100%. You can multiply anything you want by 100% because it's one. Well, 0 0.05 times 100 means you move the decimal place two points to the right and so you just have, so the 0.05 times 100 is 5, and you keep the percent. And you can check, 5% takes you right back again. These things are equivalent. Now, in the next few classes, we're going to be talking about things with percents, and I want you to realize that none of the, you, we don't want to plug the percent sign into a function. So if you have something with a percent, and you want to plug it into a formula, something like that, you're going to have to write, use this instead of 30%. You're not going to do 6.25%, you're going to write it this way. So that is a very important thing. Uh, oh man, I don't know how to get into this, but I just want to say that that there's a thing that I call thinking in percents. Um, and I can't, I've been trying to rack my brain for a good example of this, but it, there's two ways of thinking about something. You think about things in absolute terms, or you think of things in relative terms, and the second one is more of a percent. For example, what's 50 bucks? Well, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. You would think, well, $50 is the same for everybody. It's not the same for everybody. So if I say, what is 50 bucks? It depends. You have one person over here. This person, not very happy because the total net worth is, this person has 1,000 bucks to his name. 
this person over here, she's doing quite well, she's pretty happy, and rather sassy too, you can tell. Oh, she's, oh, she's got a skirt, what the heck. Um, she's got um, $50,000 socked away somewhere. So what is $50? Well, you might think $50 is the same for both of these people, but as a percent, this guy, $50 is 50 out of 1,000 is five, okay, five out of 100. It's 5% of everything that he has. 5% of all of his money, that's not a insignificant amount of money. Her, on the other hand, she's looking at that 50 as 50 out of 50,000. Um, cancel this out, and that's 1,000. It's 1,000th of what she owns. This is 0.1%. So in some sense, the $50 means a whole lot more to him than it does to her. So if she says, hey, you want to go skiing? It's only 50 bucks. He's thinking, holy cow, that's 5% of everything I own. She's thinking, eh, it's not as much of what I own. She's like, it's the same. He's like, it's not the same. It means more to me. And, and, and this is why you can get a teenager to mow your lawn for 20 bucks, but you can't get a bank executive to mow your lawn for 20 bucks because the bank executive has so much more money that relatively speaking, it's less money to him. You think $50 is $50. In absolute terms, it is. But in relative terms, and this is what I call percentage thinking, looking at things relative to other things. It's a useful thing to be aware of.